Hey everyone, this is Dharvesh Khan, Subject Specialist English. This is lecture number seven about components of language. In the last lecture, what we discussed about, we discussed about the meaning of components. That we talked about that, that suppose there are letters, like in alphabets, there are symbols, and those symbols, they have sounds. So we come to know that when we combine letters, they form, they form words, and when we combine words, they form a sentence, and when we combine sentences, we come to know that they formulate a paragraph. When we combine a paragraph, we come to know that paragraph, the, the combination of paragraphs, they make a lesson. And combining lessons, they form a book. And combining books, they form, uh, they formulate a library. So we come to know that actually, the role of components is a very gigantic role. So we come to know that, <coughs> how many components are there? Actually, there are four components, but three of them, they are very basic. And why are they basic? That is a question. So there are four components of language. There are four components of language. What is the very first component? The very first component is called phonology. What is the first component? The first component is called phonology. P-H-O-N-O-L-O-G-Y. What is the second component? The second component is called grammar. What is the third component? The third component is called lexicon. And what is the fourth component? The fourth component is called semantics. Now, these are four components. But in these four components, three components are basic because they do not change. And when a component changes from person to person, from place to place, from area to area, from environment to environment, then that is called, we, we, we cannot call it as basic component, but rather we consider that that is not the basic component because it changes. Now there are three components, phonology, grammar and lexicon. What kind of work do they play? They formulate a sentence, they form a sentence. And lexicon, grammar and phonology, these three are the basic components. These three are the basic components of language. And these three basic components, because they play their role into the formation of a sentence. So their role is seen in the structure. Their role is seen in the structure. How is that? Let me discuss that. The last one which is semantics. In fact, semantics is not called the basic component because semantics is the study of meaning and it changes from person to person. It changes. Why are they called basic components? The reason is that they are called basic components because they do not change from person to person, from place to place, from area to area, from environment to environment. Suppose, if I say one sentence and the structure of that sentence in Pakistan is one and the structure of the same sentence in America is another. No, that's wrong. The structure of the same sentence in Pakistan is the same, is alike the way the same sentence is structured there in America. If I say uh, there is a sentence, he plays cricket. He plays cricket. So he is the subject. Place is the verb and cricket is an object. So we come to know that subject plus verb plus object is seen in this structure. This structure does not change, but the meaning changes from person to person. Because if I use it in one context, it has one meaning. If you use it in another context, it has another meaning. So the meaning changes, meaning changes while structure remains the same. It has a sound which is the same, it has a structure, which is, uh, I mean that the whole sentence has a structure, it is the same. These are words taken from something and they are the same. This is called the components of language. Components of language, we consider that there are three basic components, but there are actually four components. 
Three are basic because they remain the same, they do not change. And semantics is the last component of language which changes from person to person, from man to man, from area to area, from place to place, from class to class, etc. <coughs> so, <coughs> now in the next video, I am concerned with each and every one through logical ways.